how to bloom curry before you actually put it in there. The reason why you add water, it protects the curry. Curry's already dry. You don't want it to burn. When that curry hits that oil and it has that water because you bloom it, it's steam. So funny um, that you should reference curry because that's a big debate over here in Trinidad, you know, if we should bloom the curry or not. So like the other day, I was actually talking to my dad about it and he told me, he was like, well, Sean, years ago, the type of curry we used to get you needed to infuse it into the oil. But when but when we were infusing it, we were infusing it at a very low heat. But nowadays, the curry is different. You don't really need to do that. Because when I talk to people, because I blew my curry, right? But when I talk to people who do not do that, the first thing I do is I give them the opportunity to explain themselves. And, and, and the answer is always the same rule. That's how my mother used to do it. That's how my grandmother used to do it. And that's it. They can't give you a technical answer because exactly how you explained it is what I tell them. It's a dehydrated product. Why am I burning it, as we call it, or frying it in oil, which is a, which is a drying method? It doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Exactly. 